James Turner, a man barely clinging to life. Uh, yeah, I'm at two. All right, pass the turn. But James is about to find out what lurks at the top of his deck and how that can change the presupposed outcome of this game. Uh, oh, uh, wait, okay, direct current targeting you, two triggers off my electrostatic fields. Okay. Uh, jumpstart my direct current, uh, hold priority, cast expansion, copying direct current, that's now six triggers off my electrostatic fields, and four from the two copies of direct current. Wow, you got me. I mean, are we gonna play game three, or...? It's common sense to never concede. But bear in mind also not to celebrate too early. Even when things seem to be teetering on the precipice, a top deck can change the direction of the rest of your life. And things have a way of working out as you'd least expect them to in the Exile Zone. <laughs> An autumnal Friday night in Victoria, BC, as Cameron Lauder walks briskly to the moon base after his local FNM, his mind races with thoughts of land drops and of combat tricks. But will Cameron be able to escape the dark recesses of his own psyche and find a way out of the exile zone? Hey, Cam, how was FNM? Uh. Aw, did somebody counterspell your counterspell? Look, this dinkwad drafted this utterly bonkers Boros deck that just kept dumpstering everyone, and here I am trying to hunker down behind my army of 1-4s and 0-5s, and in Trundle's Mister, I'm the Boros Legion with my citywide bust, and suddenly I'm dying to this, like, army of 1-1s. It was humiliating. How many 1-1s? Oh, I don't know. I think their curve topped out at, like, uh, three, two and a half. Hey man, were you at FNM too? I heard the Barosian menace was running wild. Yeah, they were. It was rough. A whole lot of one ones. Oh, and a deafening clarion. Wait, clarion and citywide busts? Do you know deafening clarion has two modes? I can't even sit here and listen to this anymore. And the plan, the plan. I had disinformation campaign, a dream eater. It was going to be beautiful. All right, I gotta see this deck. Mm. What can be done when you can't accept that the real monster was you all along? When that which you fear is inside of you, and you are trapped in the exile zone. Interior, the man's own apartment. The man himself is Benjamin Ulmer, hard at work on his new commander deck. This time, he tells himself, this time will be different. But Benjamin can scarcely comprehend just how different his next commander game will be. Hey, finally finished my new deck. You live in an apartment. Where did you build this deck? My new... Magic deck for Commander Knight? Who is Commander Knight? A, a magician? I, I'm confused. No, magic, Paul. The card game. Alex used to do magic with cards, but we're playing bridge tomorrow night on stream, so I don't know what game you're talking about. I... sorry, what? Which reminds me, I want to get a new deck to show off on stream. Something spooky for Halloween, like... All the face cards are skeletons or something. Later. Hey, I don't actually know Paul all that well, but I feel like he's acting unusually. Yeah, that sounds normal. Hey, which deck should I play on stream tomorrow night? I thought we played Magic on Fridays. Why did nobody tell me it was Bridge? Or that it was the 1970s again. It's the last Friday of the month. That's always bridged. What's magic? Magic the Gathering? 
Wow, these are weird looking. Did you make these? What? Ooh, what's that box? Oh, this is perfect. This can easily hold two decks. Dude, my tokens. Is this some kind of joke? No, it's like this box was designed to hold 100 cards. Magic the Gathering. It's the game we play all the time. It's how you and I met. We met a few months ago at a timed solitaire competition. Oh, what? You have magic stuff all over the place. Where? You walk past this every day. You have an uncut foil sheet of... Ah! What is that? It's our framed floppy disk poster. James, I'm scared. Yeah, I'm starting to freak out a little bit too. I think it would be best if you picked up your tokens and left for a little while. Uh... Pick up your tokens, Ben. Ah! Hi. Nelson, where's all the magic? Inside us all along? Is this a trick question? I don't understand what's going on. I think you should pick up your tokens, Ben. What? Pick, pick up, up your, your tokens. tokens. Ah! Wake, Wake up, up Ben. ben. <sighs> there he is. What happened? I cast Cyclonic Rift and you blacked out. All oh, my tokens. Yeah, you kept mumbling about that while you were unconscious. Are you okay? Yeah. Fine, I'm sorry. Cool. Pick up your tokens. It is said that there are infinite possible realities, and that a severe trauma can allow some to walk across these myriad planes. But such things were not meant for us, and so we mortals merely dabble with simulacrums of this omnipotence, safely at arm's length, sitting just outside the Exile Zone. Graham, are you gonna come pick up your cards? Yeah, are you playing here or what? I gotta move the discard. <laughs>